Hi, my name is Hassan, and I'm presenting our paper titled Making the Most of Parallel Composition and Differential Privacy. It's a joint work with John, John Polo, Serene, Serge, and Paul. Uh, and Paul. And the problem we are looking at is um, the problem of um, answering queries on a sensitive data set through a differentially private mechanism. And the goal is to maximize the number of queries that can be answered um, under a fixed global privacy loss. And the idea is to avoid wasting the privacy budget. A simplest example of that would be to avoid answering um, the same query multiple times with uh, uh, different noise. So uh, under basic dif uh, composition of differential privacy, uh, answering T queries consumes T epsilon um, budget. This is not optimal and there have been various relaxations of differential privacy in order to find a tighter composition. Most of these works um, are on sequential composition and less focus has been given to another form of composition called parallel composition. So um, informally, this means that two mechanisms are composed in parallel if they work on um, disjoint subdomains. In this case, the privacy loss is only maximum of the two. And the intuition behind that is that individual can only be um, in one of these two data subdomains. So if we have two queries uh, which are on the two different subdomains and each having a privacy budget of epsilon, then under basic composition, the privacy loss is bounded by two epsilon, but parallel composition gives us a tighter uh, bound, which is only epsilon in this case. So we can squeeze more out of the privacy budget if we use parallel composition. So the question then is that if we're given some a number of queries T, each with a different privacy budget and a fixed DP mechanism, how do we uh, find out if any subset uh, composes it in parallel? In order to answer that question, we define the um, notion of maximum overlap, which is defined in terms of query coverage. So for a single query, we define its coverage as all the domain points, which if removed would change the answer to that query. And likewise, we can define the coverage of a set of queries as the intersection of the uh, individual coverages. The maximum overlap is then the uh, maximum budget consumption by any subset of queries that uh, overlap. So optimal composition would then be related to uh, the maximum overlap in the sense that the privacy loss would be exactly the maximum overlap and the rest of the queries will be uh, composing in parallel. So how do we compute that? A naive solution would look at all the possible subset of queries, just check if they overlap. And there are two different parameters which affect the complexity. One is the number of queries because we need to check all possible subsets. The other one is the domain size, which is exponential in the number of attributes. And the reason for that is in order to check if queries overlap, we need to go through all the domain points in the naive way. And um, notice that the domain points is different from the actual data points. The domain points covers all possible uh, data points that there could be. So in order to tame this complexity, we focus on uh, a subset of queries called predicate queries. These are defined as conjunctions of predicates on individual attributes. So Q1 to Q3 are examples of predicate queries. Uh, on the other hand, the query says postcode A or native uh, equals n is not a predicate query because it's actually a disjunction. And the reason to use predicate queries is that we can um, check if those, if any two queries are disjoined by looking at the uh, predicates individually. If on any attribute the predicates are disjoint, then the queries are disjoint, as in this case. 
Uh, unfortunately, even if we can check pairwise where the queries overlap, the problem remains and be hard because even if they pairwise overlap, the uh, joint coverage might be empty. And this is not surprising. An instance of this problem is, has been shown to be NP hard, which is defined in terms of finding the L1 sensitivity of a subset of queries. And in our paper, we also show that the more general problem of maximum overlap is NP complete. Uh, we calling it more general because it covers uh, DP mechanisms, which are not defined in terms of L1 sensitivity, for example, the Gaussian mechanism. So if this is NP complete, what can we do? Um, our idea is to formulate the problem in terms of uh, graphs. So one uh, um, way would be to formulate in, it in terms of a uh, hypergraph. So each node in the hypergraph is a query and a hyper edge is any subset of queries that has a coverage that is not empty. Then we get the maximum overlap readily as the uh, 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 cardinality, uh, as the hyper edge with the largest cardinality. Problem is that this has exponential time to construct this hypergraph. So instead we uh, focus on the query graph. Each node again is a query. And there is an edge between two nodes if they overlap. This only takes uh, T squared time to construct, but we don't get maximum overlap readily. Instead, we are going to link properties of this graph to maximum overlap. So here's an example of the query graph formulation. We are given six queries here. On the top here, we have the query graph and the bottom we have a hypergraph. The three, uh, three queries here have a joint coverage that is not empty and this is indicated by this hyper edge uh, shaded in gray. So which problems could then be related to maximum overlap? One of them is maximum clique, which is defined as the size of the largest um, uh, complete subgraph. Uh, the problem is in this case, we need to use an exact algorithm because any approximate algorithm may underestimate the click number, which could in turn be less than the maximum overlap, which is, could be a privacy breach. Our proposal is instead to use uh, the chromatic number. And the advantage here is that we can use approximate algorithms for that because it's a minimization problem and hence any approximation would be higher than the maximum overlap and no privacy leakage would be, uh, would result. Uh, even though these two problems are still empty complete, uh, they have been studied very extensively and hence the algorithm might be efficient in practice. So in order to check that, we have our experimental setup. We are checking the efficiency of the algorithm algorithms in terms of two parameters in general, the domain size and the number of queries. And we also have a timeout because we are looking at online mechanism. So any query that takes more than 60 seconds is considered to have failed. In order to um, test utility, we look at the percentage gain if only sequential composition was applied and we have both synthetic and real census queries. And the algorithms are exact maximum click exact maximum overlap, and the approximate uh, chromatic number. So uh, the first of our results uh, shows the feasibility of the algorithm uh, in terms of the increasing domain size on the y-axis and the increasing number of queries. The yellow regions show those queries that were answered within the time out of 60 seconds. And we can see that the approximate chromatic number can handle more queries um, than the maximum click. In terms of utility, we worked on a data set of real census, census queries obtained from Australian Bureau of Statistics. And we, we can see from this table that in almost all cases, we obtain good utility due to the maximum overlap. Uh, and this is over um, simple sequential composition. Uh, there are other comp uh, contributions in our paper. Um, uh, one of them is that instead of simply defining uh, maximum overlap as a fixed mechanism and uh, T different queries, we can define it as the uh, composition of T different uh, DP mechanisms 
and see if they compose in parallel. So in order to um, define this, we um, define that under the notion of F differential privacy, which is a recent notion um, of differential privacy um, characterized in terms of um, hypothesis testing. One of our contributions is to prove a parallel composition theorem for FDP, uh, and also then use that to have a arbitrary optimal composition for FDP mechanism. The reason uh, to focus on FDP is that we can then relate all these results to other uh, flavors of DP through the connection with FDP. There are some limitations in our current work. Um, uh, one of them is that we, uh, with each new query, we need to regenerate the query graph. Um, so instead of that, uh, a dynamic approach which only updates the current query graph uh, could be useful. Um, likewise, um, we could do some pre-processing before the query graph is constructed. So this could be uh, that queries which are obviously um, um, can be obviously grouped together, could be grouped beforehand. Um, another thing is we have defined query overlap as a binary problem, but we could look into the extent uh, by which queries overlap and may be able to squeeze more out of the privacy budget using that approach. And um, some other pointers could be to use approximation algorithm for hypergraphs instead of just looking at the query graph or um, any other problem that could relate to maximum overlap for which we know some efficient algorithms in practice. So that's the end of the uh, presentation. If you have any questions, you can email um, me or Paul.